Welcome everyone, the first step to transfer data from old iPhone to new Google Pixel is the Google Pixel must be on this screen. You can see, welcome to your Pixel. If you see this screen, skip 20 seconds forward into the video. But if you see the home screen here and you have the lock screen, then we need to start by doing a factory reset. To factory reset Google Pixel, the first step is we're going to open up the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see here, system. You are then going to scroll to the bottom until you see reset options. And then select erase all data. Select Erase, enter in your PIN, and then Erase one more time, and we'll wait for the reset to complete. Once we see here, welcome to your Pixel, let's tap on Get Started, and then we're going to select iPhone or iPad. From here, we will need to enter in the login for our Wi-Fi network. And then it's going to get our Pixel ready. It is now asking us to sign in with our Google account. Google is required for most services on the Pixel. So I'd recommend you do this. If you don't have an account, tap create account. Otherwise, enter in your login information now. It will now Ask to add your phone number to Google, I'd recommend you tap on skip. And to add our account, we're going to tap on agree to the Google terms and conditions. It's now asking us to either insert a SIM or activate eSIM. If you have not done this yet, we'll need a step-by-step -step guide. Search on YouTube how to insert SIM in Pixel or how to activate eSIM in Pixel, and you'll find my tutorials. I'm going to tap on skip, as you can do this later. It's now asking us to set a pin. So I'm going to set a pin. There we go. And fingerprint unlock. So on the iPhone, you have Face ID. On Google, you have the fingerprint. So scroll to the bottom and tap agree to add a fingerprint and then start. And we just need to hold our thumb or any finger you want on the fingerprint sensor and make sure you slightly move your thumb in between every scan. There we go. And just keep on doing this until enough scans have been done. And you can see the finger has been added. Now we'll tap on next. And it's saying set up face unlock. So we're going to scroll to the bottom. And we will agree to this one. And then we'll tap on start. So I'll place my face in a frame. And I think the glasses need to go. So I'll place my face in the middle. And then you just do the on-screen instructions. And then we'll tap on done. Now we see copy data from the iPhone. And so we'll tap on next. And now we need to plug our Google Pixel into our iPhone. To do this, let's have a look at the charging cable I have. So if I take a look here, one end of the cable is USB-A. And so if I try and connect this to the Pixel, you can see it's simply not going to connect. So try and just connect both sides of the cable. If you have a newer iPhone, you will be able to connect. Uh, if you're noticing you cannot connect both phones, then you're going to see here on the Google Pixel box, you should have an adapter and you insert USB into this end here and then you have a connection which supports 
the Google Pixel. And now we can use our iPhone cable to connect to the Google Pixel. And there we go. So both devices are connected. On the iPhone, make sure the iPhone is on the home screen. And from the home screen, tap this trust message here. And now you can see the devices are connected. And so we'll tap on next. And now it's going to check your iPhone to see what data can be transferred over. And so we can see everything here, apps, contacts, photos, messages. Just tap the tick to turn on or off that option to copy over. And so once you're ready, we're going to tap on copy. And then choose our apps. So this is showing Google's version of apps, which are iPhone only. So let's say find iPhone is iPhone only, but Google has its own Google Find My. So if you want those versions of the apps, tap the tick. Otherwise, tap them to untick. And then we'll tap on copy. And now it's going to copy your data over. And while it's copying, we can set up our Google account. So Google services, if you want a device backup, you can turn that one on. I personally leave this one off. And location, we'll want that one on. Scanning, this allows Google to use your location while you're offline. It's useful if you want to use, you know, maps offline, but it does mean Google has your location 24 seven. So it's up to you if you want to turn that one off. Data, I'm going to turn that one off. And once we are on the bottom of the screen, we can tap on accept. Warranty, I'm going to tap on next. This is just showing your warranty information. And then we have here, continue setup. If we tap on continue, it will ask you to set up Google Pay, which is Google's version of Apple Pay, and uh, Google Assistant, which is Google ver Google's version of Siri. If you want that stuff, tap continue. Otherwise, I'm gonna tap on leave and get reminder. We see additional Google apps. If you want these, just leave them on. I'd recommend you just install these anyway. And so we'll tap on continue. And now we can see copying's done and we can disconnect the cable. That was fast. However, if it's saying you're know, transferring data, just leave both devices connected and patiently wait for the data transfer to finish. As we see the copying is done, I'm going to tap on done. And it's showing you how you can get your iCloud data. So you can see, follow this link. You can always come back to this video if you need that link to get your photos and videos from iCloud. And we'll tap on OK. iMessage. So on our old iPhone, we will need to turn off iMessage. And to do that on the iPhone, head to the settings. And in the settings, I want you to scroll all the way down until you see messages and the messages just tap that iMessage toggle and that will turn off iMessage and so now you should have text messages fully working on your Google and now the Google Pixel is going to get ready it's discussing swipe navigation so I'm going to tap on skip for this and then all set Swipe up to go home. So what is transferred, let's have a look. So if I go to the photos here, we can see the photos. You know, you're not gonna get that screenshot on an Android. So that has been transferred over here and any other data will be moved over. But please keep in mind, app data will not be moved over from your old iPhone. So you will need to re-sign into all of your accounts in the Google Pixel. And uh, so do not factory reset your old phone 
until everything is up and running on your new Google Pixel. And as this is an iPhone, some of the stuff you may have expected to have been moved from iPhone to Google will not have been moved. So you may need to have to uh, reset things up, etc. We can now unplug the Google from the iPhone. Uh, with that being said, if you would like to help support the channel, please do check the description. Bye-bye.